Welcome back everybody. Today's lesson, we're going to look at one of Earth's most important resources, water. And we're going to take a look at how much water is found on the Earth and where much of our water is located on the Earth itself. So, water is probably our most important resource as people on this planet because we use water for a variety of things. We use it to cook, clean, drink, grow crops for recreational purposes. We use it to generate electricity and even to travel from place to place. 97% of our water on Earth, though, is not fresh water that's easily able to be used by humans for consumption. It's salt water. So 71% of the Earth is covered in oceans, and the oceans contain 97% of our Earth's water. So that water is salt water. It's not as easily to be used as humans as fresh water is. So only about 3% of Earth's water is fresh water, water without salt. So we ask them, this 3% of fresh water, where is it found? Well, you might think, well, most of fresh water is found in rivers or lakes, but no. Most of our fresh water is actually frozen on our planet. We, are, we find this fresh water in glaciers, um, in the polar regions where we have the ice caps. So in Antarctica and the Arctic regions, we have water that is frozen, fresh water that is frozen. However, we do have fresh water that is also found in our lakes, rivers, and under Earth's surface as well. But let's take a look at just the water on the Earth's surface. We call this surface water. And it's water found in our streams, rivers, and lakes. And the surface water makes up 1% of Earth's water. And we have a lot of rivers, we have a lot of lakes, a lot of streams on the planet. That just shows you how much water our oceans contain if 1% of our water on Earth is fresh water or is surface water. Surface water is fed by precipitation. Precipitation is that um, pre water that falls as hail, sleet, rain, snow. So that's what creates our rivers and streams. And then how does water affect people? Well, one if water can benefit people, but we also have problems because of water. There are areas that do not have access to clean drinking water. They may be in a drought, which means lack of rain for a long period of time, that they have this lack of available fresh water. Well, lack of fresh water means agriculture is more difficult. It also means that you're not getting the daily water that you need for yourself. We have polluted water as well, and that's a problem that humans created. And flooding, flooding from heavy rainstorms. If you're in India during the monsoon season, Heavy flooding um, can actually destroy parts of villages. But water benefits us as well. It provides us with the food that we need, whether it's agriculture, irrigating our, crop, our crops, or whether it's from fishing in water sources to get a food supply there as well. We use water for energy. Back in the uh, days of mills, they used water to turn water wheels, and it would spin the machine inside of the mill to be able to process what's inside the mill. Now we can even generate electricity from the movement of water. And we also use water for recreation. Raystown Lake's one of those examples. We have that lake created by the dam that's up near Huntington. And one of the benefits is it has created a recreation area for the people of central Pennsylvania to use. So in this lesson, we took a look at water on the earth where water is found and some of the benefits and problems related to water. At this point, make sure you go to Google Classroom, check out the rest of the lesson, make sure you've done everything for today, and we'll see you next time.